He just stole all the stuff. Mm. Then he just drove the Benjamin Henry. He comes a second time. Mm -hmm. Now here's here's what's interesting. He says so so whatever Satan he gives, let Satan do. He's limited. He okay. can't just do anything he wants. Uh -huh. If Satan could do whatever he wants, this world would be in shambles. Right. 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 We saw those riots recently where. Um, because of that black, black guy, light, that, light, yeah, black guy, you set uh -huh. the fires and all sure, that, uh -huh. that wouldn't have stopped. Right. Okay, if devil could do whatever he wants, that would have just went totally out of, you know, it would still be happening today. Uh -huh. and we, but, right? It would, it would never have ended. Uh -huh. But because God does have, to put limits on how far the devil can go. Oh, okay. Right, right wow. okay? Wow. Wow. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Burn everything. On another day, the angels came and presented themselves before the Lord, and Satan came with them. He's a repeat. See, Satan says, where did you come from? It's all the mm -hmm. same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Mm -hmm. There's no one on earth like him. He's blameless. He's saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. And, see the and? Uh -huh. And he still remains his, maintains his integrity, though you incited me against him to ruin him without reason. See? Mm -hmm. And he says, skin for skin. Will a man give all he has for his own life, but stretch out your hand and strike his flesh? Because remember, he said you can't touch him. Mm -hmm. You can touch his stuff. Mm -hmm. He killed his kids, he, his property, his camels, everything. He lost all the stuff. They stole them. Mm -hmm. But he said you can't touch his... So he says, let me touch his flesh. God says, very well. All he has is in your... In your, in your uh, he says, very well, then he, he is in your hands. But you must spare his life. So you see... First, he said you can't touch him. You can touch his stuff uh -huh. or his his loved ones. Uh -huh. or any anything that he, but you can't touch him. Okay. Now he comes a second time. He says, "Yeah, well, you didn't let me touch him. You know, you let me touch his stuff, and of course he's faithful to you because you know you didn't let me mess with him." Oh, okay. Right. Uh -huh. right. Pretty cynical. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cynical. He's saying this guy's so selfish that he doesn't care about. Yeah. He's just being. You that's know, right. That's, that, what, that's what he's saying. saying. That's the key ingredient. That's good. Dylan landed on it. That's the key ingredient. God, the devil wants you, wants to show God that we don't love him. Oh, yeah. We only love the goodies. Oh, okay. We don't love God. Mm. You know, it's like healing. If, if God healed everybody, we'd only come to him for healing. Right. We wouldn't come to him for him. So God allows some people to go without their healing so he's a continue oh, to love made, him. That's a really key. Even that's a though, key. yeah. That's really good. I should have told John that. Yeah. Even though we don't get our healing, we can, Henry, can you go, yeah, that? go ahead. Okay, thank you. That's good, huh? It is really good. That's it, important. It's really good. Yeah, I'm really glad that you're, you're, you're touching on this. Yeah. Because this is a key element of why some people don't get healed. Yeah. Yeah. Because if he just healed everybody, everybody come for healing. He just, if, people if, would come if, for if, if he, he just gave everybody prosperity, you just come to God, you're prosperous, and you'll make all your money, and you everything will be then great. People won't well, serve then, God for the right why reason. Why are there some people that are Christian, but they're they're not they're struggling? Yeah. Well, uh, why they're they're totally Christian? They got faith and they're that struggling. That makes sense. That's so that's so true. Well, that because God doesn't cool. want you to love Him for the stuff, for the goodies. Right, That's right. the devil who's inciting that. Oh. He's the one who's coming at people to try and get you to the only love, to show God, oh, they don't love you. Oh, that's good. They only that's love heavy. the goodies. That's heavy. Yeah, that's and good. then God gives us Jesus to show us how good God is so you can really love God. Right, right, right. Yeah. And not the goodies. Yeah. You can well, thank him for the goodies and we appreciate what he does do for me. But it doesn't, it don't, that, don't key your, don't, don't make that the key ingredient. The key ingredient is him. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just make a favor to ask you. Could you repeat what you were saying when you, when you said to Dylan? That's a good. Uh, I'm glad you brought that. Up. I. You said that's the reason why not everybody gets healed. This uh, is uh, that's why not. Could you please? Repeat the the Bible uh, promises prosperity. Okay. It, it promises uh, protection. Okay. It, it promises um, healing. Okay. It promises it, it promises in the Bible. Uh huh. But how come they don't apply to everybody? Oh, well, yeah. for one reason is because this life isn't all there is. Okay. Okay. There's there's something better. If you don't get everything you get here, the Bible says they did not get the Bible talks about how they did not get the full promise. Oh. Meaning that they, they, they got promises, but they didn't get the full promise. Okay. Uh -huh. Why? Because there was something after this life. Oh. That's one reason. That's uh -huh. one good reason. Uh huh. But another good reason is because God doesn't want if He just healed everybody. Yeah. Then you would just come to Him for healing. You wouldn't come if, for he just gave, oh. if he gave everybody prosperity, Nucky. right? Yeah. Well, yeah. then everybody would just come to him to be rich, to to make money, to get for for what he gives. They would come for the gifts, 
the goodies. They were not come God to for God for God. You see? Can you give me some examples of what reasons we would come to God? To, 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 Proper just way? To, to, well, the reason I... Let me see if I can answer this myself. Why do I come to God? Because I can't do it by myself. I need Him. That's that's the bottom line for myself. Yeah, that's good. If, if well, I have money, that's not the answer. Well, a good reason to come to God is because the Bible says God is love. Oh, you and you mercy. don't even know what love is until you come to God. Oh, okay. So you come to God... To be loved, for acceptance, oh. for you know, to be Mercy. sometimes you're not recognized. People look over you; they kick you to the curb. Uh -huh. you're not, uh -huh. Come to him for that, you know, because he's got that for you. He, he'll accept you, independent of you. He'll love you with an unconditional love. Uh -huh. He'll die for you. Uh -huh. he, he just he's you come to God for who he is, and the Bible says God is love. So come to him because. He's, He's a good God. You know, you, you take devil uh -huh. and you remove the D yeah. and you have evil. Okay. Right? Right. You take you take um um God uh -huh. and you add an O and you have good. Right. You see that? Yeah. God, good, devil, evil. Uh -huh. You remove the D and you have evil. You add an O and you have good with God. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good, yeah. Good that's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. God is good. Uh -huh. And if you really want to know what it is, what good is, you go to God. Because anything other than God is a lesser good. Mm. Okay? Okay. Yeah. And uh -huh. so you come to God because he's good. You just come to God because of who he is. We come to God because I, I, he's, he's trustworthy, because of all the promises, because he gave us his book so we can know him. Uh -huh. You come to, and you want to know him better. Right. You know, but you don't right. come to God for the goodies. That's what the Satan is doing here. He says, God doesn't love you. Uh-huh. He doesn't. Job doesn't look, love you. Look what he says. He says. Job doesn't love you. He, Job, yeah. Yeah. He says, does God, okay. He says, he, he says, he's an upright man who fears God and he shuns evil. And day, Satan says. Well, does he fear you for nothing? Look, you put a hedge around him. So he's saying he doesn't love you. He loves the... Look, you made him rich. Oh. He loves the goodies. Oh. He doesn't love you. Oh, that's why... That's the idea. Yeah. Oh, and man. so God allowed yeah. him to go through this mm. to show Satan... He does love me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That's oh, that good. Makes sense. That's really it's good. good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Mm, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a good question. So, you got to ask yourself, why, why, do, I love why God? do I love God? And it's my answer to that is because I, I can't do it by myself. I'm useless by myself. That's, that's why my, I love God. My, I, I can't. I'm well, not, I'm not, how about he's your creator? He yeah. created us. Sure. He created this world for mm -hmm. us to mm -hmm. live in. He mm -hmm. perfectly provides for us. Mm -hmm. he, he loves us, mm -hmm. and he's got a future for us. Mm -hmm. He says, "It's all. It's 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 just what he's got for me. You know what he's got for me. Mm -hmm. It's not what he so much as what he's giving me. It's all that he has for me." The Bible says, "If he died for you, won't he certainly with him freely give you all things?" Mm -hmm. We have to be so grateful. For it's what, what he, he has it's right what he, now. It's all that he has for me, being that I'm in a relationship with him, mm -hmm. because he's he's, he's he's worthy of my worship. Mm -hmm. Because he's worthy, not because I'm worthy. This. We have we have it's your he's worthy there. of worship, right? Because he's creator, he's provider, he's he's everything to me. Mm -hmm. That that's you know. He but I don't I don't come to him. him for that stuff, right? You're not locked you know? up if you Other, didn't have him. Otherwise, you're going to be like. You know, I do this and I do that, and I'm so I go to church. And I, why hasn't he healed me? Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. you're thinking that you earned that, right. that he owes it to you, mm. and he, you deserve it. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where Job went. Job mm -hmm. says, "Why is this happening to me?" He went there. Oh, yeah. it's human. It's, it's a human experience. Yeah, that's right. Well, you think that God owes you better, mm. and the point that God, God made. So let, let's look at this. Yeah, sure. Let's go to Job. Yeah. What was I saying earlier? Oh, Nehemiah. Nehemiah, yeah. Those quick prayers. Yeah. yeah. I thought I was thinking about that the other day because sometimes I forget about this stuff and I just thought about the other day. I said, I should show this to you guys. But okay, so, okay, so the dialogue ends. Okay. This is the last person to speak. Let's see. There's like 40, uh, 36, right? Let me see. Um, this is pretty lengthy. Who is this? 
Whoa. Okay, Why? Joe continues his discourse. Joe continues his discourse. Okay, that 3029 says Joe continues his discourse. Okay, um... Whoa, what a beautiful Bible that is. Yeah. You like that? Yeah, that's neat. I can get you one if you want one of these. Big letter like this? Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay so... I know, you are not yeah. do any Bibles, huh? <laughs> Okay, so uh, anyways, I guess it was Job. I guess uh, who has not had his fill of, 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 okay, so this is not Job. He mentions Job's meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dylan, where, do you see it? 29 is Job. Yes. Uh, Does anybody speak after that? Elihu. Uh, where, where is that? Where Eli first? Elihu where is in cha chapter 34. No, yeah, I know that, but I'm saying is Job the last one? Yeah, Job is the last one to speak. Yeah. So from 30, from what, from 29? 31, 31, 31, 40 is the last of it, and then the words of Job are ending. No, the last, okay, from 29, hold on. 32, they said the three men ceased to answer Job. Okay, Job continues his discourse. So 32, 1 is the... No, I'm trying to see how long this is, who is the last one to speak before Job? Bill Dad. Joe, Bill Dad. Verse 25. Yeah. This yeah. Is, this is Bill Dad. Oh, 20, Bill Dad. This is all yeah. the way to 25. Well, oh, okay. Yeah. Now, that's, now, what's interesting is all the way to 25. Okay, from chapter 3 to 25. Oh, okay. Much of that, that's a lot of big chunk of your Bible. Yeah. A lot of that is Job's friends talking. Oh, okay. And, and the Bible said at the end, he says that those guys were wrong. Oh, okay. He said they were wrong. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. And, and so... You got to be careful with pulling something, and people could read something from there and say, "Hey, look, that's in the Bible. That's what it said. That's that's you know, oh, and it's wrong. They were uh, wrong. So right. you got to be careful about taking something out of the Bible and saying, well, look, the Bible says this is it.' You know, right. well, who's saying it? Uh -huh. What is the what is the what is the context? Right. You know what's uh -huh. going on here? Uh -huh. Because mm. if you go on and read the rest of the Book of Job, he says that that person you're reading that you're pulling that out of context. God says they were wrong. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. so that's deep, huh? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so 25, 25 you. is the last chapter. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, okay, so 32, obviously Job's words are ended. 32, Job is done. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then Elihu steps up. This is a whole different person. Oh, okay. Elihu was in the... In he was the, there the whole time, but he, he was there the whole time listening he to just the was conversation. Real quiet. He was yeah. just silent because he was the youngest of the three. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Because he's the youngest, uh -huh. he didn't want to get, you know, in, involved. You know, right. He just uh -huh. let them, because the older is supposed to be wiser. Right. So I just sat this out. Mm -hmm. And look what he says. It says, so the three men stopped answering Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. See, self-righteous. Right. Mm -hmm. You see, Job was self-righteous. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. He, he was coming from a place where he knows his relationship with God is pretty solid. I mean, I don't know, you know, but it wasn't as solid as he thought. Oh. You know, okay. right? Uh -huh. He was solid enough for God to let him, Satan come at him. Uh-huh. But Job kind of took it to a whole nother level because it's a, he was kind of self right. No, the Bible says no one is righteous, no not one, uh -huh. right? And he was proclaiming his goodness because only because of a defense. Oh, he, to, he was comparing yeah. himself to the people like yeah. the Sabians and the other people that were being blessed and and uh, and they were doing evil things. He was comparing himself to people who were worse off and wondering why they're getting blessed. And well, he's, I think he only went there with the self righteous yeah. factor. In defense, in defense against in what defense against what they were saying. saying. Yeah, I think that's, that's the only that's reason he would he would never go there. But because they're coming at him with that, they're coming he and they're attacking himself him. with that. Yeah, so that's totally yeah. understandable. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that's why I don't even think that God held that against him. Because toward the end, he says to them, he says, he he says you guys were wrong about me. Like you guys were wrong about me. You guys were not. You, you guys were wrong about me. And like my servant Job, he he didn't come, he didn't he didn't point his finger at Job for anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, uh -huh. he just said, you were wrong, not like my servant Job. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, yeah, he says yeah. that, right? He does say that at the end. Yeah, he does say oh, that at the end. So okay. he didn't hold anything against Job because oh. he knew that was coming, where that was coming from, why he was saying it. Defense, yeah, God knows us. He's defending yeah. himself, uh -huh. you know, that's so he good. don't hold that against Job. Right. right. You know, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah, that's real good. When he knows the heart, the Bible says man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart. Right. He knows where that's coming. He's more concerned with why you're saying it than what you're saying. Right. Isn't that powerful? Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? That's comforting. Right. Yeah, that's right. good, huh? Very comforting, yeah. So these three, okay, so it says, um, uh, but be Elihu, son of Barak, so I can't even understand it. Uh, he says, um, he was also angry with the three friends because they had found no way to refute Job 
and yet they had condemned him. See, so they were condemning oh, Job. Yeah, that's what. But God they, they couldn't argue with what Job was saying. Uh -huh. And Job is saying, "Look, I do this, I do this, I've done this, and you, you know, the, these people are—they're totally godless, and you're saying I deserve this. Right. Uh, it doesn't compute with when I look at everybody else, and that, that they're living free, worry-free lives, right. and I'm suffering. Uh -huh. And you're saying this is because of my sin." It didn't compute. It doesn't compute. Right. So they and so they can argue with Job, uh -huh. but they were condemning him anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and he says, and he says, I am young in years, and you are old. See, this is why he stayed back and didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm young, you're old. That is why. Oh, yeah. That's why I was fearful and not daring to tell you what I know. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Is I, that Job speaking? That's no, it's Elihu. 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 All of a sudden, see these the three. Friend. All oh. these three are done. Job is done. They're all done with their conversation. They're all worn out. They're probably already thinking about going home now. You know, it's like, uh -huh. we're done. Yeah. But Elihu says, wait a minute. I got something to say. Uh -huh. I was younger. So I thought you're wiser. The older is supposed to be wiser. So I didn't want to say anything. Right. But I can't hold it in. Uh -huh. I got to speak. Oh, okay. That's what he's saying. I, oh, right, okay. right. Uh -huh. He says, I thought age should speak. Advanced years should teach wisdom. But it is the spirit in a man, the breath of the Almighty, that gives him understanding. It is not only the old who are wise, not only the aged who understand what is right. Therefore, I say, listen to me. So now he says, I'm going to speak. Mm. It's not just the old who are wise. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and speak some wisdom in this thing. Because mm. I've been watching and listening. And I'm not comfortable with what I'm hearing. Mm. Okay? Mm. I, too, will tell you what I know. I waited for a while. I waited while you spoke. And listen to your reasoning while you were searching for words. I gave you my full attention, but not one of you has proved Job wrong. None of you has answered his arguments. Oh, watch this. Verse 17. I too have my say. He says, I too will have my say. Mm -hmm. I too will tell you what I know, for I am full of words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the spirit is within me, compels me. He's saying, uh -huh. inside me, I am like a bottled up wine like new wineskins ready to burst. Mm. I must speak and find relief. I must open my lips and reply. So he's saying, what he's basically saying is like, I'm young, you're old, you're supposed to be wiser and supposed to know better. So I let you speak, but you guys are condemning Job yeah. when you when you and when you can't even argue with what he says. You haven't you haven't brought any any reasonable arguments with what Job is saying. You're just mm -hmm. condemning him, you know, not even listening to what right. he's got to say. Uh -huh. So I'm going to tell you what I feel. Yeah. And I can't stay quiet. Right. I'm like a, a wine glass. You know what? You know when you put, like the Bible says, you can't put new wine into old wine skins. Mm -hmm. The reason is because if you put new wine into an old wine skin, is brittle. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. And if you put new wine skin into the old wine skins, it ferments. Oh, the gases you know, you know the expand. gases in wine expand. They, they expands. Uh -huh. And if you put new wine into old wine skins, it'll burst. Oh, really? Right. It, oh. And that's enough. why he says you oh, can't put new. That's why he said you can't put uh -huh. new wine in old wine skins. What Jesus was referring to when he said you can't put new wine into old wine skins. You can't mix the covenant. Jesus was referring to the old covenant. The law mentality. Oh. If you try and put a message of grace, oh. God's total forgiveness because of He love because of His love for you and His sacrifice for you. If you try and put that in with the line, the law factor, the old covenant, it, you can't. It, it'll burst. It's not, you're gonna lose it all. Oh. They don't mix. Oh. So you got to put new wine skins. Put new wine into new wine skins. Meaning whatever you've been belie believing in the past uh -huh. about the covenant, uh -huh. you got to lose it. You need a new covenant thinking, okay? okay. New okay. covenant thinking, uh -huh. and Jesus is bringing the cross to change all that. Oh, okay. so uh -huh. the reason I mentioned that is because Thank he's you. talking about that. Mm. I'm like an old wineskin waiting to burst mm -hmm. because I've got all this wine in here and it's mm. fermenting, and, and I got to speak, man. Right. I, I can't just keep it in; it's right. just going to blow up. Right. So he's well, saying that's what I feel like. I got to mm, speak, man. Mm. Even though I'm young and I, you know, I should sit this one out. Mm -hmm. Ain't happening. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he starts talking about Job, and he says, uh, "Let's see, uh, verse eight, thirty-three, eight. He says he's speaking to Job. He says, "You have said in my hearing. I heard these very words. I am pure. I am without sin. I am clean and am free of guilt." Yet God has found fault with me. He considers me his enemy. He fattens my feet with shackles. He keeps close watch on my lips and my past. But I tell you, in this Job, you are not right. He's correcting Job. 
Mm. Not just the three friends. Mm. Job too. He's got something to say to all of them. Mm. He says, but I tell you, in this you are not well, Job. Is this you, Elihu now? Elihu. Oh, okay. Elihu. The younger, the younger, the younger of the, yeah. the, the bunch. Uh -huh. And what's interesting is Elihu is right. Because God doesn't correct Job at the end. He doesn't correct. Elihu. This is the very end. This is the epilogue. Uh -huh. The epilogue is the end. Okay. Uh -huh. And at the end, it says, after Job had said these things. Uh, no, after the Lord had said these things to Job. He said to Eliphaz and the termite, I am angry with you and your Two friends. Uh huh. That's Zophar, Eliphaz, and what's the other one? Um, Bildad. 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 Okay. Uh huh. He doesn't mention Elihu. Oh, okay. Uh huh. He doesn't mention the younger guy. The younger guy. Yeah. He doesn't mean. He says, "I'm angry with you and your two friends because you have not spoken to me what is right, as my servant Job has." So uh -huh. he was commending Job for uh -huh. being right. Uh huh. Okay. But what he do, he never mentions Elihu. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So Elihu is right. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, when Elihu speaks, I'll give you an it's example. It's very similar to it's what very God, similar. It's when almost God identical speaks, to what, what God, God speaks. Did. When oh. God starts to speak, he almost takes up where Elihu left off. Oh, okay. It's uh -huh. almost like this is pretty good. I like that train of thought, Elihu. Uh -huh. You know what? I'll, I'll, I got it from Spirit. here. You He's sit. The, you you can sit back now. You've said enough. Right. I got it from here, Elihu. Uh -huh. Kick, you know, watch. Right. It's pretty heavy. Uh huh. So Elihu is saying. He says. Um, he Verse says, chapter 37. Huh? Chapter 37. Elihu is still speaking. Okay, let's go with Elihu right here. He says, um, he says, uh, he, listen. He says, he, he, he says, uh, let's see, what's a good one? Verse 15. Or huh? 16, verse 16. 37? 37, 37, 16. Okay, yeah, that's good. So Elihu is speaking to Job. Uh -huh. And he's telling Job, look at verse 4. Um, listen. Listen to the roar of his voice. He's talking about God. He's defending God right now. Okay, uh -huh. He says, To the rumbling of that comes from his mouth. He leashes his lightning beneath the whole heaven and sends to the ends of the earth. After that comes the sound of his roar. Where does that? Thunder. Oh, oh. Yeah. He thunders with his majestic voice. When his voice resounds, he holds nothing back. God's voice thunders in a marvelous ways. He does great things beyond understanding. Okay, so you see that? Uh-huh. Right? He's listening to God. Right? Mm -hmm. He says, The breath of God, verse, uh, verse 10. The breath of God produces ice, and the broad waters become frozen. He loads the mm. clouds with moisture. Wow. He scatters his lightning through them. So he's speaking oh, wow. to God. He's saying, God is amazing. Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. And uh, he talks about the direction of his wind. Okay? Uh, what did you say, 16? 16, yeah, very good. He one. says, do you not know how the clouds hang poised, those wonders of him who is perfect in knowledge? He's asking questions. Who, yeah. yeah, he's asking questions. He's, he's a question mark? Question mark? Yeah, it's a question mark. He's yeah. asking questions. He's doing what God does. Watch this. Uh -huh. He says, um... Uh, um, he says, tell us, Job, he's talking to Job. He says, tell us what we should say to him. We cannot draw up our case because of our darkness. See, see the, he, Job wants to counsel with God. He wants God to explain himself to him oh, because uh -huh. he's going through all this pain. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He doesn't know of this little conversation between Satan and God. Oh, okay. He doesn't know that that happened. Oh, okay, Job uh -huh. is totally... Otherwise, he wouldn't be asking all these questions. He would right, ask. Right, well, right. I, he probably would. He'd probably I mean, wonder why it, you do that. It's almost thing. like, yeah, it's like... It would cause uh, more problems. Yeah, it would, cause, it would make him more confused. Oh, okay. Why did uh -huh. you put me It's out one there. thing for this to uh -huh. happen. I lost my 10 kids. I was robbed by the Chaldeans. They stole all my property, all my goods, all my camels, all my all my cattle. Uh -huh. They ripped me off. The Chaldeans, the Sabians, they all ripped me off. Now i got boils all over my body. And I'm like, God, why is this happening? And if God said, well, Job, listen, Satan came at me. And he said that, you know, he was looking for somebody to pick on. And I, I asked him, do you, do you consider him Job? And he said, why did He's a pretty that? solid guy. Uh -huh. You know, uh, uh -huh. you know, and, and he told me, he says, that you don't love me. You don't really love me. You love the goodies, the riches, everything God's given you. He told Job that. God told so Job he, that. So he's telling was, me that, mm -hmm. that you don't love me. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm telling him you do. So I, I I gave him permission to go ahead, and these things that are happening, I gave him permission to do that. Mm -hmm. Job, if that, you were Job, you'd say, why, did you Why would you do that? Why would you put me out there? You Why would you? Heart? I mean, you 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 did this. Mm -hmm. You they, this is your hand. I mean, you could have prevented this, and you didn't. Mm -hmm. There would be more questions. Mm -hmm. Is this more confusing? Well, don't you know my heart already? Why yeah. do you have to ask? Why do you have to put Satan <laughs> things? Something to Satan. You yeah. know, all I kinds believe, of questions. I believe this is this is henryology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe God allowed Job to go through this so that we could have this story. Mm. Yeah, and see how God is involved in our lives from the beginning to the end. He's got our back. He's got it covered, even though we don't don't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Even those things don't make sense, mm -hmm. you know, or somewhere it does. Right. 
somehow, somewhere at the beginning, all the way to the end, it is it does make sense to him, mm -hmm. or he wouldn't allow it. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be happening. Oh yeah. So that's what I see mm -hmm. because this isn't for no reason. It's not like why are you doing this? Why are you letting this happen? No, it's for a very good reason. We have a story. Mm -hmm. We can see how this turns out. Right. That it turned out for good. Mm -hmm. That God was in it from the, at the very beginning, and He was in it at the end, and He was all over it all throughout. And it was, it, you know, it's so through this book. Mm -hmm. God is silent to, uh, from the beginning. 30, for 37 chapters. Yeah, for 37 chapters, God doesn't speak. Mm -hmm. His friends are talking. Mm -hmm. He's talking to his friends. Mm -hmm. Elihu steps in. He's speaking for God. Mm -hmm. But God is silent. Mm -hmm. He's he's not silent. At the beginning, where Satan's talking to him, and he says, if you consider my servant Job, uh -huh. he's talking for the first two chapters, uh -huh. where he has two little two little scenarios with Job. Yeah. But for the next, three, for the next 35 chapters... God don't say a word. Mm. He's silent. And that speaks volume to me. Right. Sometimes God is going to be silent. Mm -hmm. And you're going to wonder what is going on. What mm -hmm. part of the program is this? Mm -hmm. And that's why the story is there. Right. So you're going to know he's there. Mm -hmm. he, might, he might not be you know, speaking much. Mm -hmm. But he's got this. Mm -hmm. And it's going to turn out for good. He promises that all things work out for good. Mm -hmm. My job is to love him. His job is to work it all out for good because I do. Satan wants to say that I don't. Right. Satan wants to convince God that I don't love him. Mm -hmm. But God is able to work all things out for good to those who do. Mm. Uh, yeah. Isn't that heavy? Uh, yeah. 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 Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Satan wants to get a uh, get off on his uh, scot free from his judgment. So if he feels he says, well, he's he's charging God with being unfair. Basically, he's saying, well, you you're only the reason why he's serving you is for the goodies. Then you know you don't you have no right to be judge me harshly, the devil. You know. Yeah. Well, God created us for relationship. Yeah. God loves us. Right. Mm -hmm. He loves everybody. God so loved the whole world. Mm -hmm. He loves unbelievers. Mm -hmm. The problem is that we don't respond to that love. Oh yeah. With love. Mm -hmm. And and Satan wants to keep us over here, where there's no response of love, where we don't love God. Oh. Uh, these people, that, I mean, uh, as an unbeliever, we love money. Mm -hmm. We love the goodies. We might even say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Whether we don't have any relationship with him, we don't mm -hmm. really love God. Mm -hmm. But we, we will say we believe in God. We we bless people. We, we pray sometimes. But there's really no relationship. Mm -hmm. So there's really no love for God because uh, to, love is a relationship. Mm -hmm. And so they don't have that relationship with God. And Satan wants to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He wants to keep no love right. factor. Mm -hmm. He wants to keep, God could love us all day long, but as long as we don't love him, mm. he loves that. Mm -hmm. He wants that, to keep us in the dark. Yeah. He wants oh, to, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he loves that. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing here. He's saying, yeah, Satan, he, he doesn't love you. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. That's heavy, he huh? Loves, he loves all the goodies you give him. Yeah, yeah. he just loves the goodies, man. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, man, okay, so what? Okay, so he still stayed faithful even though you messed up, took his goodies away and all that. You know, yeah, yeah, okay, but, but you know, he, he loves his body. He doesn't love you. Mm -hmm. He loves his life. He mm -hmm. doesn't love you. Mm -hmm. And that's why that's why we should even be willing to, like Jesus said, lay down your life. life. Oh, yeah, like living yeah. sacrifice. Yeah. Living mm -hmm. sacrifice to show that we don't love our body more than God. Oh, wow. To show, yeah. The, the, the healing. I don't have to have a healing. You know, mm -hmm. I, I don't love my body more than I love you. Mm -hmm. uh, heavy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you could hope for it. You could pray for it. You could say, God can. He will. And I'm counting on it. And But even if he doesn't. Right. I love him more mm -hmm. than the healing. Because mm -hmm. there's more to oh. it than this. Isn't yeah. that good? Yeah, it's yeah. real good, Henry. Yeah. Hmm. And so look, so God all of a sudden, so the Lord speaks, all of a sudden the Lord speaks. Okay. So I'll show 37 you. 37 to 38. So here's, okay, yeah. this is Elihu. He says, out of the north he comes in golden splendor. Talking about God. God comes in awesome majesty. The Almighty is beyond our reach and exalted. In the well, what Elihu is doing, he's just, you're so focused, Job, on your issues and your problems. You think God owes you a, 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 an account, a, a, some accountability as to uh, why this is happening. Uh, Let me show you God. Okay, so you can get your eyes off of you and just focus on him for a minute. Correct. Okay, uh -huh. he's a pretty amazing. Uh -huh. If you just fix it out on him, you'll lose yourself in him. Right. Okay, so he's getting fixated on God. And he says, and, and he, he says, he's, the Almighty is beyond reach 
exalted in power and his justice and great righteousness. He does not oppress. Therefore, men revere him. He, see, that's fear of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the fear of God. Oh, yeah. says a believer. It's oh. reverence. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Revere him. That's, oh, that, okay. that would be another place, that, another term for fear, where it says, verse 24, therefore men revere him. How, how does your say it, Don? Therefore uh, do men fear him. See? Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. See? Uh, thank you, Henry. It's just reverence. Mm -hmm. It's just respect. Uh -huh. It's honor. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh -huh. That's for the fear of God. Oh, okay. You yeah. know? Mm -hmm. I don't think God ever really wanted us to live afraid of him. Right. That's you know, what I, was the, the, yeah. I think the fear of God has always been sort of a reverential fear. Oh, okay. Respect. Right? right? Uh -huh. because so, that's why the priest, when he goes in front of the altar, before he crosses to the other side, he goes like this, right? Well, that's why he's called reverend. Oh. Reverence. Oh, right? Uh -huh. Reverend. Uh -huh. the, the priest. The pastor, yeah. they called him priest, pastor, minister, reverend. Uh -huh. Different names, right? Oh, yeah. That's uh -huh. good. Yeah. 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 Because we're supposed to respect him and you know right. hold him in high honor. I mean, yes. because he's, he's the leader. He's you know, yeah. no, no. I'm talking no, the about, I'm talking pastor, about the pastor. Oh, okay. Yeah, we yeah. do respect them. We don't hold them up to a high, higher place because yeah. they're a leader. You know, mm -hmm. the Bible says respect those in authority. We're supposed right. to do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, right? right. We don't lift them up as God. No. Uh -huh. And think like I have to go through him to get to God. Uh -huh. That's giving him too much authority. Okay. Right. That's putting him in a position of God, thinking that I have to go to him to get to God. You're putting him in a position of Jesus. He's the mediator between God and man. Right. You do you want to give him that position? Right. That's a position that belongs to Jesus. The Bible says there is no mediator between God and man. There's except one that man mediator. Huh? Yeah, there's one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's there's the one mediator. God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So if I need to get to God, I can trust to God. I, you know, Jesus said nobody comes to Father except through me. Right. right, he said, "I mm -hmm. am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except by me." Mm -hmm. So we get to the Father through Jesus, mm -hmm. right? Right. Mm -hmm. So and He's God, anyways. Right. So okay, so this is uh, so. Notice that all of a sudden the Lord speaks. Oh, okay. This Lord is Elihu, mm -hmm. oh, okay. and He's yeah. talking about God's majesty. He talked about how the well, what did we read earlier about the hail and, and the frost? What did he say? He said about the... Uh, balancing the, in the clouds. The balancing in the, with the winds, the breath of his... Uh, the, the frozen, right? He yeah, talks, he's talking about hail, water, wind. wind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord speaks. And look what he said. He takes up the same topic, the oh, same okay. frame of thought. Uh -huh. Then the Lord answered Job out of the storm, and he says, Who is this that darkens my counsel? With oh. words without knowledge. Mm. Brace yourself like a man. I will question you. Mm. Right, uh -huh. kind of like that reminds me of, of Jesus when he when he said he, they want to ask him they wanted him to answer them a question he said I'll answer you if you answer me uh, okay right mm -hmm. he says I will question you you shall answer me where were you when I laid the earth's foundation okay now that's something to consider oh yeah where were you Carlos when God laid the foundation of the earth was it? I was, I was born. you know yeah the bo the boundaries of the ocean so they don't spill out into this into the space. Mm. You know, put these little boundaries on the earth. Wow. You know, this, what do they call that? The ozone layer? Or what do they call that? That the keeps the earth, you know, the, the kind of... The atmosphere. The atmosphere, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, to keep it, keep the earth so ocean doesn't spread out into the sky and all that. We have, we, we're like, have, we've got, got this like enclosed bubble that keeps everything in. Oh, wow. You know? Otherwise uh -huh. it can float out yeah. in space. Wow. And he says, were you, where were you when I did that? When I shaped that, when I made that happen, uh -huh. where were you, Carlos? That's what you're asking Joe. But, yeah. I mean, he's starting out with some good questions. Okay, sure. uh -huh. I mean, you want me? You want you're demanding counsel from me. You want me to answer your questions. Uh -huh. Let me. You answer a few of mine. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's kind of like to paint a picture on how awesome God is. Right. You know, does he not know what's going on? Do I not know what's happening to you, Job? Are, mm -hmm. are you thinking I'm clueless that I missed this one? Mm -hmm. Right. I got this, Job. Right. I'm all over this. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, that's pretty much what he's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But but do I need it? Do you need an answer for everything? Do I have to answer for everything? Do do you need? Do you really have to know everything that I'm doing? Oh. You just, know. Just trust it. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why it calls for faith. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, if look at God parting the Red Sea. How did He do that? Right. People see that. You know, the Bible actually said. The Bible actually says that it took Him all night to do it. God didn't just all of a sudden part the Red Sea. The Bible says that the winds blew all night long to part those Red Seas. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. It says the winds blew all night long. Oh, wow. To dry the sea at yeah. the bottom. And then oh. the mor in the morning, there was a dry bottom. You know, it, Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that dry the sea because, bottom. Because think about it. 
Be too muddy. It, it, I don't think, yeah, that's a good point. I don't think it actually took him all night to have to part the Red Sea. I think it took some time for him to dry the bottom bed. Oh, really? Because yeah. if you got an ocean of water, a sea, a seabed, a sea water, uh -huh. the whole bottom is mud. Right. It's mud. Uh -huh. And for him to just part the Red Sea for them to walk across, uh -huh. they'd be sinking in mud. They wouldn't be yeah. able to walk very far. Right. So he actually had to dry the waterbed uh -huh. so that they could walk. The Bible says they walked on it as if on dry land. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. it, it, right? Uh -huh. It mm -hmm. says that. Uh -huh. So it was like dry land. Oh, okay. How did uh -huh. that happen? Well, yeah. because he did a little heat program of blowing wind all night long to dry right. it. Otherwise, it would have yeah, been like in Noah's you know. Ark. After Noah's Ark, uh, they couldn't step out for several months because it said the earth, the ground was dry. And oh, that's after good certain, too, huh? After a certain oh, couple of months, the earth was dry. That's right, for like 100 days it, it or so. It took a long, long time. It took like 100 days. Once, it, once, it, the, once, the, the, once the, the water started to recede, uh -huh. yeah, it, it went, was a long time before he even got them out of the boat to, yeah. to be able to go out because there was no wind. That was just normal wind. It wasn't a supernatural wind. So the Lord, the Lord says, I'll, okay, he says, um, where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me, if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched out the meaning of the line across it? And so, so he goes on with all these things. He says, uh, let's see. Um, he says, have you ever given orders to the morning? You know, every time, every time uh -huh. the sun rises, uh -huh. he's saying, who gave, that, who gave the orders to the sun to rise? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Who tells uh -huh. it to do that? Yeah. Uh -huh. Who controls? He's basically saying, who controls that? Mm. Right? Certainly not that. Yeah. <laughs> he's right. saying, do you know? Do you have any ideas? He says, uh, or shown the dawn its place, that the night make the earth by its edges. Um, let's see. Let's see some good ones. Um, I can't see this. Verse 24. Um, okay, verse 24. He says, what is the way of the place where the lightning is, is dispersed? He said, do you know where the sun comes, where the lightning comes from? Uh -huh. Right? Do you know right. where that comes from? Right. Where does it start? I mean, you can see where it ends. I mean, you can see it strike a tree and and cause some damage. Right. Uh, but where did it come from? Right. Do you know where it started? No. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Huh? Um, he says, who cuts the channel for the torrents of the rain? He's talking about the... Uh, uh, he said, let me see. Let me see another one. He says, can you bind the beautiful Pelleades? The, the, I guess Pleiades. that's mountains. That's the mountains, uh. right? The what? Can you buy in the... Pleiades? Pleiades is a star constellation. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see another one. Uh, verse 435. Do you, do you send the lightning bolts on their way? Okay, do they report to you? Here we are. Who, endow, who endowed the earth with wisdom? Okay, let me, let me go. Verse 39. Verse 39, another one. Um, you said verse 39 what, Tom? Verse 39. Who who will who uh, will you hunt the prey? Yeah, that's what animals? I'm looking for the animals. Because he starts talking about the animals. Oh, okay. First he talks about the nature, the natural things like uh -huh. lightning and rain and thunder. You, do you do you know where that comes from? Do you know who does that? The the sunrise. He's talking mm -hmm. about natural. Then he goes into animals. Mm. He says um, he says do you hunt the prey for? He says do you hunt the prey for the lioness? That's thirty nine, and satisfy the hunger for the lions. He's saying who feeds them. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. When they crouch in their dens or lie and wait in a thicket, who provides food for the raven? See, he talks about ravens. Mm -hmm. He talks about the lions. About eagles. He talks about bears. Horse, horses. Bears talking, he's about mountain goats and bears. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's talking about, he's, he's he just walked through all these animals. things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And watch this. So just, I don't want to spend too much time on this. He says, then the Lord said, first, chapter 40, he says, the Lord said to Job, well, the one who contends with the Almighty, correct him. Let him who accuses God answer him. Then Job answered the Lord, I am unworthy. See, here's humility. Mm. I mean, so when you're demanding counsel from God, uh -huh. you know, why don't you heal me? Mm -hmm. You know, you said you would. You, why aren't you doing it? Mm -hmm. You know, what's going on here? He's, he's you're, I'm unworthy. I don't deserve a thing. Mm -hmm. If God mm -hmm. heals me, he heals me. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. he shows compassion. The Bible says he will show compassion on whom he will show compassion. Right. He will have mercy on who he wants to show mercy. It's kind of like when we looked at it a few weeks ago at those those guys were upset because the guys who worked late got paid the same as oh, them who worked right. all day. Sure. And uh -huh. they were upset because they should have got more. He right. says, are you upset because I'm generous? Mm -hmm. If right. I want to give them the same amount of pay, mm -hmm. then I right. promised you, mm -hmm. well, then why are you complaining? Right. You see, mm -hmm. so he says, um, I'm unworthy. How can I reply to you? I put my hand over my mouth. I spoke once, 
But I have I have no answer. Twice, but I will say no more. And then God then, still continues. Then God keeps going. He says, then the Lord keeps, he just spoke to Job. He, didn't, he says, brace yourself like a man. I will question you and you will answer me. Oh. So when we demand answers from God, uh -huh. you don't want him giving you a test. Yeah, don't go there because you don't want to yeah. go there. Right. Yeah, you know, if he started asking you questions, see, you you answer me, okay? Right. The whole point is you're sweating this thing like I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I do, right? And you want answers as to why it's happening, even if I told you, you'd have more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, if I if I tried to explain to you what's happening. You, you would just come with more questions as to why that yeah. or why this or why it would never end mm. you can't understand what's going on in this mind mm. that's what god is saying you oh, can't really? figure this mind out oh. the god's mind of god god's, god's mind you can't yeah when i yeah yeah not, i'm not, speaking not, like, not human mind but god's i'm talking mind. about god uh -huh. god's speaking to you like he's speaking to job uh -huh. you can't figure this mind out you want answers? Well, his ways you wouldn't understand them if I gave them to you. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just like you can't understand this stuff, you can't under this stuff. That's what God is saying. Uh -huh. Just like you can't understand all this, uh -huh. you can't even begin to understand this. Oh, okay. You can't understand the mind of God. Uh -huh. Bible says his ways are beyond our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Mm -hmm. He says as high as the heavens are from the earth are his thoughts and his ways from our ways and our thoughts. Mm. Wow. You can't figure him out. Mm. That's, that's heavy, right. huh? That's right. yeah. Isn't that good? Yeah. And that's why you just gotta trust him, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean But do you think that's do you think that's uh, most people would want to know why? Why 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 won't you share your, your knowledge with me, what you know? Well he does. That's what the Bible is. He's sharing his knowledge, but understand any knowledge of God is a limited knowledge. Like I said, oh, the, like, I, understand. Like I yeah. said, the more I know, the more I realize I don't know. You have more oh, questions, more yeah, and more questions. Sure, that makes the, sense. the more oh, I learn, yeah. the more I see I need to learn. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's uh -huh. always more. Right. You can't exhaust the knowledge of God because his law, his knowledge is, uh, is what's the word for it? Infinite. It's infinite. It's, 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 it's inexhaustible. What's the word? Inexhaustible. What's, yeah, what's the word for it? Inexhaustible. Inexhaustible. Mm. You can never run out of his knowledge. It's, mm. it's just endless. Oh, right. Oh, well, that's yes, interesting. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, sure. And that's why we need to keep studying. The more I study, the more I, I, I like studying. I, I, you know, the more I learn. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. But um. So let's finish. Let's let's. Okay. So um. So Job said, "I'm unworthy." Key. Mm -hmm. That's key ingredient right there. You know, the thing is, you got to understand, you're you're unworthy, but God makes you worthy. Oh, yeah. isn't that good? Uh huh. You you. you And that's what that's all we need to know. Isn't that great? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really that simple. Right. But it is humility. The Bible said he opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So if you're humble enough to say, I'm not worthy, then he can make you worthy. Right. And, and he makes you worthy. You don't go back to I gotta be worthy. I gotta make myself worthy. I gotta be, I gotta somehow make be worth. That's going back to a works relationship. That's not grace. The Bible says if it's works, it's works. If it's grace, it's grace. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go back to a works relationship. If he says that I will make you worthy, then let him do that. Mm -hmm. Put that on him. Okay. Allow just receive it as a gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if that's what he wants to do, do it. Let him do us a favor. He, if he wants to do you a favor, mm -hmm. say thank you mm -hmm. for the favor. Yeah. Right? But understand, he did the favor. Exactly. He did it. Mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago, he went to the cross and did it. Mm -hmm. He paid full price for you to have it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's real good, Henry. It is good. Yeah. So what do I have, salvation? Mm-hmm. Righteousness, right. redemption, mm -hmm. sanctification. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we have that in Christ. Mm -hmm. You have a new spirit. God mm -hmm. put a new spirit in you, a new mm -hmm. spirit. Mm -hmm. So here's how it works. Okay. Okay, so I, I, I'm a sinner. I love sin. But now I have a picture of Jesus dying on a cross, dying for my sins, and he's offering himself to me. Now, when I want Jesus, this is good. When I want Jesus, now I'm here, okay? But now I, I want to be here. I want, I want Jesus, okay? Now, 
The mere fact that you want him, you don't want sin. Because you don't really want Jesus unless you don't want sin anymore. You understand? Yeah. That that's the relationship. Okay. You don't like sin anymore. Right. You don't want sin anymore. Right. You're repelled by it. Mm -hmm. That's what happens because you coming to Jesus. When you receive Jesus, you're coming away from that sinful lifestyle that you used to live because that's not you anymore. Now you're in Christ, and because you're in Christ, you don't want sin anymore. Mm -hmm. Something actually happened. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not that, oh, I can't sin. I better not sin. I start to stop sinning. I don't want sin anymore. That's mm -hmm. not me anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. You don't really want Jesus, and you just you don't want sin. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's what happens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real thing. Uh-huh. And, and people question whether they're saved, whether or not they're Christian. How do you feel about sin? I hate it. You know what I mean? I hate it, but I do it. Right. Oh, you do. And you right. know why? Because sin is huge. I could show you a list of 700 and some odd different sins. Mm -hmm. Sin is just, it's endless. Right. I mean, you want to start counting your sins? Dude, good luck with that. Yeah. You know, you're going to be counting endless. You got like to you, you yeah. ask for, for God to forgiveness to, for, for the sin that you're committing. Right, Henry? You just ask, you know, boy, you know, do I... Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. You know, I do. Right. And you don't have to. God isn't looking for you to to name it, mm -hmm. claim it. Mm -hmm. He's not looking for any of that. He's just looking for you to come away from it. Okay. You know, and focus on your new on who you are in Christ. Uh -huh. He wants your eyes on Him, not okay. on the sin. Okay. You don't have to go naming every sin. You don't have uh -huh. to go. If you have a certain sin struggle, you mm -hmm. can talk to Him about it, but you know, proclaim victory over it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Proclaim victory over it. Okay. Like I was telling John, you need to come to a place from where that's 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 dealt. He handled that. Right. It, it's done. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why you're not having victory over that because you keep asking for him to remove it like he's not listening. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's, you know, hard of hearing or he's mm -hmm. on vacation or he's reading the paper or he's just got no time for you. Right. No, he's got all his time. If you're, if you're saved, if you're a believer, if you're a Christian, he's all ears. He's hearing you. But what is he hearing? You're crying. What are you hearing? Oh, please take this away. Take this. No, Lord, you've dealt with this. This is handled. You took care of this. And this might take a little time for it to manifest itself, but I'm trusting it's been done. It's done. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been done. Mm -hmm. 